Hello everybody, welcome back to this flurry of videos y'all got today, huh? What do y'all think? Bob get a thumbs up for all these videos today? Huh? <laughs> Buddy Bomb. Yeah. I'm gonna get these things under vacuum. I'm gonna call it a day, believe it or not. But I wanna get this rudder mounted, guys. It's gonna be cool. When you see what I got in store for you guys, just when you thought I taught you everything. <laughs> Like I always tell my buddy Oscar, I know he's out there watching too. It's because I taught you everything you know. Don't mean I taught you everything I know. I know he's watching too. <laughs> you know, Oscar spent many days together in Lou's shop. You guys remember Lou, don't you, the serial killer? <laughs> oh, we should have brought him up. But, we didn't know, you know? All I know is, you know, Oscar shared many at church chicken lunches together and churches chicken and jalapenos baby building airplanes man we're just gonna put some big old pleats in this and it'll suck down nicely Got plenty of material no big deal on how big the fleets are. Uh -huh. See how big I need to make that. It's going to be a big one. There's no big deal, but I'm going to cut it a little extra big because, see, that way you know it's big enough. Then you just kind of double it upon itself. Just like so. And squeeze it up there. You just got to get down below first. And all that extra room. Dang, put it in. Leave the room. There's a wrinkle there.
I got my old roller here. I'm gonna roll that. You know what, see? I know it's going to be too long. 
but let it double its upon itself. See how it's folding around? And you gotta get this corner before you squeeze this. See? And make sure there ain't no wrinkle in it. Bang, squeeze that off. Now tell you your points of leakage are right here. We double that. Make sure put that in there. And right there at the bottom of them, just kind of fold it both ways. And see if we can just plug it in without no leaks. I bet I can. Check it, oh yeah. And now we gotta make sure it's worked down everywhere. And we got the leaks fixed. Pull it up a little bit, that's good. 
three parts and none of them leaking. Oh yeah, that's nice. That's almost flush in the back now. So it is glued together without much trimming. So the center of my rudder will actually be double foam with glass on both sides of it, man. It'll be just rock solid, just rock solid. Now for my hinge points, see guys, I'm even be careful how I hinge this thing. I just do not want no extra weight at all in the back of this airplane. Because that's where, if you build it heavy up there, back in the back, it takes a ton of lead. So, I'm going to hinge this in a special way to where I have to install it in the plane before I glue the halves together. But, it ain't going to take very much wood and it will be so solid. Uh, even better than the Robarts, because you know them plastic Robarts have a flex in them. And uh, especially on the big fat rudders. And so we'll take care of that problem. And this is going to be the lightest day four ever made right here, baby. You guys seen it right here in the shop. Bit by bit. Baby, that's how we're going to do this one. Just little bit by little bit. You know, just tinker on it. And uh, by spraying, I'm going to have me an A4 set here. Bye. That's all I got for you tonight. So until next time, we'll see you right back here in the 